And now for your protractor practice exercise. This drawing is your next exercise. We're going to draw this triangle here. And it has a base of 110. And this angle here is 70 degrees. And this angle here is 55 degrees. So the first thing we do is mark off this line down at the bottom of the sheet, 110 long. And set up the angle at this side, it's 70 degrees. Position the tractor, protractor on the sheet so the center of the protractor is in line with the end of the line and count up the angle 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and mark that point there 70. And then join that point down to the corner of the line at the bottom or the end of the line and that's your first line done. Just draw it in lightly. Now the next angle is 55 degrees so we put the protractor back on get the center of the protractor at the end of the line and line it up with the base line and count up your angle then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 degrees and mark that point there 55 degrees and then draw a line through that point from the base and complete the triangle and that's your first triangle drawn okay. now the next exercise we're going to do is uh, draw this triangle here it's a base of 110 this angle is 110 degrees and that's 40 degrees so we start off from this bottom corner here again this is our 110 and put the protractor on the line and line it up with the end of the line mark off your angle up to 110 and mark that point there and join the base through that point and that gets you the first line that line has to be drawn in lightly because we don't know what length it goes the next angle is 40 degrees so again line up the protractor with the base and the center of the protractor at the end of the line and count up here 40 degrees mark your point there and then draw your line through that point and then line in your uh, triangle and that's your triangle complete now the next part of your exercise is to if you want to write in the angles just write in the angles into the corners like that there and then use your compass to form an arc outside them and put little arrows on the end of each of those to indicate the angle and then we have to put dimensions in underneath the triangles and uh, when you're putting in these stop ends here don't let them go up as far as the drawing. Write in your measurement and then put the little arrows at the end of each line and that's your drawing complete.